Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here today with the Anet A8 Plus. Friends, I'm ready for my first prints, so let's get cracking. So, friends, the first thing I like to do is move to prepare, and I want to do move axis, and let's check each axis to make sure it moves correctly. I'm going to go 10 millimeters at a time, and you can see it is moving just the way we expect a long X. I'm going to go back. <laughs> You'll see I was running into my little clip. I'll adjust that next time. I'm going to go back to move axis. This time I'm going to do Y. Still 10 millimeters. Let's move it forward. Let's move it back. We're happy with Y. Let's go back to Z. And then we're going to do move axis. And let's raise it up. And then I'm going to go back. Now that we've approved all of those, I'm going to go back to prepare. And let's try auto home once. It goes left, forward, and then it goes down. And this is where we're going to go into leveling the bed super quick. I'm going to move Y this time first. It's still 10 millimeters. I'm going to just slide it back. I want 5 centimeters. And then I'm going to go to X and I'm gonna move it in 5. And then this is where I'm going to double check to see if I've got the right amount of play and I don't. So I'm gonna lower the bed by twisting it to the left until I can slide my piece of paper between the nozzle and get a little friction. That's the sound I like. I'm gonna go to X and move all the way to the other side. Once again, I'm gonna slide this under here. Let's see if we get any friction. Not a lot, so I'm going to raise the bed. So this time I'm going to twist it the other direction. So I'm going to twist it this way, like that. And there's my friction sound, but I'm going to lower it just a little. Let's back up to the move axis screen. And I'm going to do the back. I'm going to slide all the way to the back corner. Let's see where we're at. It will not fit underneath. So I'm going to twist this that way to lower it. And now I'm getting that friction sound, but I just want to adjust it a little more. All right, I like that side. So now we're going to switch back to X, 10 millimeters. And we're going to get all the way over to about that 5 centimeter spot again. Let's see where this corner is. Too tight, or not tight enough. So it's too tight up here. And there's that sound I like. That easily we've got it aligned. And now it's time to add some filament and do our first print. All right, to add the filament, we are going to back up back up and we're going to choose preheat PLA and I'm going to preheat both because we are going to print not long afterwards all right so as you can see we have hit 200 which is what I'm using for my filament and it's time to release the filament that I had tested with remember do not ever reach down here and grab you will burn your finger I'm going to push that in a little bit so it extrudes just a little, and then it's easier to pull out your old filament. Now I'm going to install my new filament. I'm going to make sure that I straighten it out just a little bit. So that way it's easier to get it through these rollers. Then once again, I got my finger on this side, I'm pushing down just a little. Okay. 
And when your filament goes straight through, it's easy peasy. And if we look down below, we will see a little bit of yellow filament coming out. I'm going to control the printer to raise it up a little bit. There you can see that little bit of white that was pushing out from the old filament. <laughs> I'm like 3D printing a tiny tower. We'll go back up to the move axis. And go back to extruder now. And I want to extrude one centimeter of the filament. You can see it's pushing out the old white. I'm going to do that again. And we're finally getting the yellow filament. Let's go get a test print ready so we can actually print something with our A8+. Alrighty friends, I am in Kira 4.71. We need to do settings, printer, and we need to add a printer. Our printer is now networked and it is already here. All we need to do is scroll down and find ANET and grab the A8+. It's created by Tiger.he and let's hit add. When this comes in, you'll note the settings for this one are correct. Extruder one has the correct filament, so we can just hit next and we're ready to go. I like to do extra fast three millimeter, and then I always print this tiny cube if we go to my 3D modeling, and I want the one cube MDH, so I'm gonna scroll down. So there is my one cube MDH, and when we hit open, it drops into the center of the bed. I've got it set to auto slice, and because I already inserted my card, it is ready to be saved on the little SD card that came with it. Before I do that, though, I want to double check my settings. 10 for the density is good. 260 are fine numbers. Print speed, I'll leave at 50. I don't like brim, though. I want to use skirt, and I want to use four lines, and I want them to be 10 millimeters apart. So I've got room to see how this first print is starting. Everything else I'm going to leave the same, and I'm going to save it to the removable disk. Notice it saved that quick. We can eject it and head back over to the 3D printer. All right, I'm going to back out to the main screen. And then I'm going to reach back, and I'm going to put in my SD card. Note the silver wires face back towards the printer bed. It clicks in nice and easy. And now on the info screen, we're going to go down and find, see how it says no SD card? If I hit init, it comes back and shows that one that we just put in. And then we can move down and find our cool little print. And because we had already preheated, it'll get going pretty darn fast. I'll pull out the little scraps. And let's make something awesome. All right, let's see what kind of adjustments we need to make as this starts out. Another quick time lapse just so we can get to where stuff's really happening. All right, so we are getting some yellow. And it looks a little tight on the back corner. I think I'm going to let it go, though. I think it's close enough. I'll adjust it on the next print. And because my software can handle time lapse, let's go. 30x speed. And there you have it, folks. One awesome tiny cube. Alrighty, friends, so there we have it. Those are steps to get your A8 Plus up and running in minutes. 
Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.